Hey everyone, today's video is about You've been dating Baka since you're near high. You don't attend UA, but you decide to visit your boyfriend for a bet. He hears a commission and decides to take it out. So if you're not exactly understanding this, the, the title, I mean, is basically like you go and visit him and his classmates flirt with you. It's kind of like that. That's what I decided to name it. But yeah, it's not very really important. Let's get going. You've been with Bagal since your third year in junior high. It was funny how the two of you had come to be. And it boggled everyone around you. You seem to have some relationship. I mean, cool one. But you love Bagal. And your friends that knew of your relationship considered the two of you to be endgame. They really couldn't see Baka tolerating anyone as much as he did you. Pulling his feeder on over your shoulders, he grabbed your wallet, phone, and lanyard that held the key card to your dorms and headed out. You didn't attend UA with your boyfriend, but that didn't mean you couldn't go visit him. He'd already made the plan to surprise Baka prior to today. He'd contacted the principal and asked for permission to come into campus, providing all of your invitations and such. So you took the train towards UA, excited to see Baga again. You made time to see each other frequently, usually arranging something every month, spending time on days off or on weekends. Of course, you gave him space when he asked for it, as he did for you. You found yourself always video calling him, Enjoying the sound of his voice, while he pressured you to finish your homework before falling asleep. Despite a little distance separating you, you always find time and ways to talk to each other or see each other. Finally arriving at your station, you only had about a 15 minute walk, and then you'd be at the gates of UA. Your lovely boyfriend awaiting you, unknowingly on his hand. You'd pick the day that they weren't too busy, often surprise him after classes had ended. It would be speed for the both of you, and a bit of a different speed, since he wasn't really expecting you. Your legs moved, you forward with each stride, only bringing you closer and closer to your goal. And before you knew it, you were admitted onto the campus, thankful that they had kept up their end of the bargain was allowing you a temporary admission. Following the directions you began, you wound up at the 1A Alliance Dormitory. You marched up the stairs, excitement bubbling inside of you. The cold breeze of air conditioned building almost with you away, but the dozen or so pairs of eyes on you gave you a different feeling. Wow, how's she? She's really cute. You think she's single? Beautiful, tender, full. The sign of a purple haired, if you could call the balls and his head hair, boy getting smacked. Cause if you laugh or on the room, you experiment further before sinking. Is Suki around? You questioned instantly, half expecting him to be sitting down where everyone else was. But you're well. You're easy. You hadn't seen the spiky blonde eye anywhere. Forget the Suki guy. Can I get to know you? A yellow haired guy with an interesting black, lightning shaved strand of hair approached you, sling an arm around the shoulder. Um, actually, she's really pretty, huh? A stray black haired guy spoke. He's odd elbows resembling that of rolls, of duct tape. I know, right? A red-haired male, which you could recall Bagua naming Shitty Hair. Shitty Hair! You smiled, removing yourself from under the yellow-haired boy, rushing over to Red Hat. Hey, only... What the hell is... Wyan? Bagua's voice wraps through the air. You snap your head, Back towards home and smile. 
Starting over, you open your arms and jump into his. He got to you, of course. Suki! Your smile seems his pride to his lips in the tennis bath. Hitting by your arms, wrapped around his neck. Shut up, don't call me that. He mumbles, his cheeks standing red from embarrassment. He holds you close and eventually sets you down, watching as everyone in his class is now staring at the two of you. Don't tell me. What the hell are you all staring at? Bug has, causing you to giggle. They don't know, do they? He whisper, watching as Bago frowns. He shakes his head and groans. This is my... Bago pauses, frustrated. This is my girlfriend, and if any of you even think to make a move on her, I'll kill you. He won't do that. He's actually a big softy. Shut up. Bago picks you back up, carrying you back to his room, leaving the crowd of his classmates, all attracted by the fact that Katsuki Bako had a girlfriend, tossing you down into the bed. Bako hovers over you with a half smile on his face. You didn't tell me you were coming by him. Bako wasn't hurt by the fact that you hadn't told him, but he was confused as to why I didn't. Well, that's the point of my surprise. He pulled him down on top of you. He loves meeting his. What was just a simple kiss turned into a makeout. Making up for the dozen of kisses, you'd send over text. Only stopping to catch your breath, you kept this up for a few minutes. Baga's hand wanted to wander, and they did. Baga pulled away and stared into your eyes. Stupid Don's face tried to make a move on you, didn't he? He growled, his left lowering to your neck as he pulled his own sweater down on your shoulders. The yellow-haired Suki, he giggled, while finding your sweet spot, beginning to guess and never that. You're mine, all mine. He whispered against his skin. I know. Your breath was, as your hands dangled to his blonde locks. Bago's hands traveled up your, or his, sweeter, teasingly. Wrapping circles into your skin. Shit, I love you so much. Bago pulled away, his real little eyes, staring back into your easy eyes. He smiled and sat up, Bago raising to sit on your lap. I love you too, my king explosion marker. He teased his goofy your name, watching as he smirked far before you. How long do you have here? Bago asked. His hands crawling back out from under your sweater, teasingly playing at the ham. Ooh, someone's needy. Bago's lips attacked, your neck again, not bothering to hear your response. Needless to say, the two of you enjoyed the surprise with that. It was just the right amount of time to spend with each other, even if all you did was make out. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye. Love you.